and member of the U.S. Davis Cup team five times. In 1977, he had one of the best years ever on the professional circuit, 15 singles finals. Oh, sorry, give me a moment. Including the French Open winning five and earning a career high world ranking of number three. At our 2008 well, USPG Hawaii sick. convention, we were honored to have Brian Gottfried as a speaker. When doing some of his on court presentations, some of our pros commented on what a heavy ball Brian was hitting. This was in reference to his one handed backhand slice. While some people may think that some of Brian's strokes are obsolete in today's modern game. His one-handed backhand slice is not. Comparatively, let's look at the one-handed backhand slice of Andy Roddick's versus Brian Gottfried's. Notice the tip of the racket. Andy never really gets into a full shoulder turn when hitting his one-handed backhand slice. Next, let's look at the swing path. You can see this across horseshoe follow-through which ends up hooking the ball and creating a lot of side spin. Conversely, let's look at the right of the screen at Gottfried. Here we can see a full shoulder rotation with the tip of the racket in full view of his opponent. Next is where the real difference occurs. Notice the contact and follow through. Unlike Roddick, Gottfried finishes on a very horizontal plane and not across the body. Brian is hitting what we refer to as true underspin with no side spin action on his ball whatsoever. The difference with Gottfried and Roddick is that Brian doesn't let the ball drop as low as Andy does and he's able to hit more aggressively by taking it up a little higher. Now, I can only theorize here, but unless you've actually played with a wood racket, you probably wouldn't understand what I'm talking about. I also am not advocating that we should ever go back to the wood racket. However, I would, would like to shed some light on the underspin backhand that Brian Gottfried is hitting as a result of using the wood racket. This style and technique is becoming a lost art as there are not very many players in today's modern game that can execute this type of underspin backhand. Consequently, there's not a lot of professionals out there other than the likes of Roger Federer and the recently retired Justin Henning, which are good examples of one-handed backhand slices to copy. If the backhand slice is not executed correctly, it can be more of a liability than a, a weapon. So let's look at the keys to executing this type of backhand slice. First, you need to get into a full shoulder turn in a linear stance with the continental grip. Second, your racket head must come around the body and be in full view of your opponent. Third, with a firm grip, your racket face will open to the sky with your shoulder tilted forward. Fourth, your racket face will turn perpendicular and then open up right before contact. On the follow through, the arm will extend in a straight line and finish with the racket face parallel to the ground. He also received the ATP Sportsmanship Award in 1984. He won 25 singles titles and 54 doubles titles, including French Open and one Wimbledon. He's one of the few players who have won a title on every surface. He is best known for his addiction to practice and the tennis. You guys, um, give it up for Brian Godfrey.